why is ovarian cancer so difficult? I think there are multiple answers, but I think you can digest it down into two. Um, the first is the, the one that many people will know that by the time women are diagnosed with ovarian cancer, 70% of them have disease that has spread into the abdomen, so stage three. Uh, and that is always going to be challenging to treat. So in breast cancer and cervix cancer and many, many other cancers, we identify patients when their disease is relatively early. Why is that? It's because, uh, it, for example, in breast cancer, breast lumps tend to be relatively easy to feel and mammography is relatively good at identifying them early. We've got a, a cervical cancer screening program that can pick up pre invasive cancer we have no program in ovarian cancer so the the, the reason why 70 percent of women have advanced disease by the time they know anything about it by the time we are able to diagnose them is that it spreads incredibly rapidly almost the first thing that many high-grade ovarian cancers do is spread rather than grow as a big lump in, in the pelvis. So uh, you can have women with almost minimal disease in the ovaries, but they've got multiple areas of disease in the abdomen. And that is the real challenge, is that the disease has spread because it has no symptoms. And so um, we, we need to make a huge effort in how can we identify high-grade ovarian cancer in particular as early as possible. As we know, if you're diagnosed at stage one, you have a 90% chance of living 10 years. If you're diagnosed at stage three, those odds are not so good. So identifying why ovarian cancer spread so rapidly and how we might be able to identify it when it's at that early stage in the ovaries and the tubes, that's the real challenge ahead of us. The drugs we have, they can be very effective, but if you're treating a disease that has already had a, a few years, possibly even to spread into the abdomen, that's always very challenging.